By the end of this tutorial, you'll have something that looks like this. Welcome back everybody, Cryptic here, and let's get started by creating a fully functional player character controller. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we want to make sure that we have our things ready. So in the previous episode or previous video, you saw that this we added a sprite. But the problem here is this sprite is not animated. So to animate this sprite, we need to delete this and then add an animated sprite. Hope that makes sense. It's self-explanatory. Now animated sprite now what it takes let's click on this button a little button here and say a sprite frames resource must be created so let's how will you create a sprite frames in the right hand side of that's our inspector as you can see we have a frames property so click on this empty button and then click on the sprite frames button and let's click on the inside and see we have our animation panel now in the left hand side of that animation panel a sprite frames panel i mean so in the left hand side we have the animations name and then we have the animation frame so every single time you want to create a new animation you'll just add them here and or remove them here and then you will add the images here in the right hand side so hope that makes sense so let's go ahead and create our first animation to do that let's double click and then say idle because I want this thing to be idle and let's find the idle here so you can download this in the link in the description let's go ahead and drag them and hope that doesn't make a difference okay boom Let's do that like this. Okay, so this is your idle animation. Now let's go to the animation sprite. We have this set the idle animation, make sure it's set, and then let's click on play. And as you can see, it's so slow. To fix this, let's go to the speed and then let's add 15. And it looks much better. So let's add the run animation. So if you want to do that, that's amazing. So let's go ahead and click on the new animation button and double click rename let's say run and let's go ahead and find our run so run is like this boom let's go ahead and say 15 okay let's reset that animation to idle so let's click on the animated sprite click on the animation property and let's set that to idle and now it's time to code so make sure the kinematic body is set to a player script so player script which is empty so let's get started by coding so let's think about what do we need the two main variables i need is a speed and a gravity gravity sorry Okay, now uh, which vector to use for movement is motion. Now motion takes another uh, value called flow normal, which is basically the up direction. So vector two dot up, sorry, up should be fine. So let's go inside of up and see what happens. So let's hit control and click on up. So the up direction is vector two zero minus one. Okay, so we want a target speed variable. Target speed. Okay, for now, I think for now we need these three variables really, really important. Okay, so let's get started by performing the movement action code. So let's go to the physics process node. I mean, sorry, physics process function or method. Let's create a new function called uh, get input and this will return nothing so i can use this arrow function and command this as a void you can do the same thing here there is no problem i think it looks cooler so into the get input function let's say uh, let's save pass for another save pass I just remove the pass okay so uh, let's say target speed equals to inside let's write input dot get action strength uh, 
UI underscore right. I will explain this a little bit later here. So input dot get action spent UI underscore left, and then we multiply that by speed. All right. Let's explain a little bit here. So input dot get action street strength. Sorry, input dot get, get action strength UI underscore right. What the heck that means? Now remember that UI underscore right, which is about project project settings input in the in input map here you go to right and as you can see the key right and the device here so when i when i hit the left arrow sorry the right arrow or the d key it will work i i, I don't know about the d key but the left arrow sh right arrow sorry right arrow should work so what happens when that happens this thing returns return meaning it will delete that thing whole thing and say one this will return one and same thing and obviously the input dot get action strength ui underscore left will be zero because we are not hitting any values so it will be zero so what is one minus zero what is one minus zero is obviously one same for the this thing is ui underscore right so when i hit the left key it would be zero and this thing the left will be one so zero minus one is minus one so this is how you simply calculate the direction which which way to hit to multiply that by speed because it would be one or minus one there is no target direction you can actually create another variable here called target direction and you set that up and then you set target speed you multiply that with that by speed and uh, this should work okay so let's go and call that function so if i don't call that function nothing will work so all right now we need to calculate every movement of ours into the motion vector so to do that, let's let's think that which way to move. We need to move to the left and right way. So motion dot x, obviously the x value, and then we set up my target speed. Same for if you want to move up and down, motion dot y plus equals to gravity. And these two should work fine. And now, uh, sorry about that let's go ahead and use that motion vector so we said okay do everything in motion but we didn't specify hey which vector for which vector to use for movement to specify let's say motion equals to move and slide motion motion and flow normal now, if I go ahead and click on the player, go to the speed and then say it's 300 here and 100 into the gravitational, we run and let's move and it's so smooth. Now, let's go ahead and code the animation controller. So, how am I going to do that? Before the gravity or before i call let's go ahead and code the animation controller here how am i gonna code the animation controller we know that motion dot x will be greater than zero when we are moving to the right so checking this we know that this is going to the right direction same for the target speed you can use the target speed here but i prefer using the motion dot x because i think that's more appropriate then we Call the animated animation sprite we play that to the run and we say else if or elif in shorthand there is no else if in Godot which is kind of sacks so um, animation sprite dot play run and when we not moving we say animated sprite dot play idle all right and see when you're moving to the right direction animated sprite this will work fine but when i'm moving to the left direction let's run and see as you can see it doesn't it works like fine but if it doesn't switches to this direction right here how am i gonna do that to to do that let's go ahead and say animated sprite dot scale scale dot x and set that to minus one and as we are setting this to minus one, we need to reset this when we are going to the 
right direction so like that so we need to reset this into when we're going to the right direction so save that and it should work so as you can see it works nicely thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video